All right, this begins our reading of the seven sermons of the dead. We're starting in the middle of things. Uh, I can't really give you enough context. There's this much book of context. We're here. Um, but I'm just going to start reading, because that's what you're here for. You want to read the seven sermons of the dead? Let's go. I did as my soul advised, and formed in matter the thoughts that she gave me. She spoke often and at length to me about the wisdom that lies behind us. But one night she suddenly came to me with a sense of uneasy and anxiety and exclaimed, what am I seeing? What does the future harbor, blazing fire? A fire hovers in the air, it draws near a flame, many flame, a searing miracle. How many lights burn? My beloved, it is the mercy of the eternal fire, the breath of fire descends on you. But I cried out in horror, I fear something terrible and dreadful. I am deeply afraid, since the things that you announced beforehand were awful. Must everything be broken, burned, and destroyed? Patience, she said, and stared into the distance. Fire surrounds you, an immeasurable sea of embers. Don't torture me. What dreadful mysteries do you possess? Speak, I implore you. Or, or are you lying again, damned tormenting spirit, deceiving fiend? What are your treacherous specters supposed to mean? But she answered calmly, I also want you f to fear. What for, to torment me? But she continued, To bring it before the ruler of this world. He demands the sacrifice of your fear. He appreciates your sacrifice. He has mercy upon you. Mercy upon me, what is that supposed to mean? I want to hide myself from him. My fate shrinks from the ruler of this world, for it is branded. It bears a mark. It, 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 <clears throat> it beheld the forbidden Therefore I avoid the ruler of this world. But you should come before him, she said. He has heard about your fear. You instilled this fear in me. Why did you give me away? You have been summoned to serve him. But I moaned and exclaimed, Thrice damned fate, why can't you leave me in seclusion? Why has he chosen me for sacrifice? Thousands would gladly throw themselves before him. Why must it be me? I cannot. I don't want to. But the soul said, You possess the word that should not be allowed to remain concealed. What is my word? I answered. Is it the stammering of, of a minor? Is it my poverty, my incapacity, my inability to do otherwise? And, and you want to drag this before the ruler of this world? But she looked straight into the distance and said, I see the surface of the earth and smoke sweeps over it. A sea of fire rolls close in from the north. It is setting the towns and villages on fire, plunging over the mountains, breaking through the valleys, burning the forests. People are going mad. You go before the fire in a burning robe with singed hair, a crazy look in your eyes, a parched tongue, a hoarse and foul-sounding voice. You forge ahead. You announce what approaches. You scale the mountains. You go into every valley and stammer words of fright and proclaim the fire's agony. You bear the mark of the fire and men are horrified at you. They do not see the fire. They do not believe your words. But they see your mark and unknowingly suspect you to be the messenger of the burning agony. What fire? They ask. What fire? You stutter, you stammer, but what do you know about fire? I looked at the embers. I saw the blazing flames. May God save us. My soul, I cried in despair. Speak again. What should I proclaim? The fire? Which fire? Look up. See the flames that blaze ab over your head. Look up. The skies redden. With these words... My soul vanished. But I remained anxious and confused for many days, and my soul remained silent and was not to be seen. But one night a dark crowd knocked at my door, and I trembled with fear. Then my soul appeared and said with haste, They are here and will tear open your door, so that the wicked herd can break into my garden. Should I be plundered and thrown out into the street? You make me into an ape and a child's plaything. Oh, when, my God, shall I be saved from the hell of fools? But I want to hack to pieces your cursed webs. Go to hell, you fools. What do you want with me? But she interrupted me and said, What are you talking about? Let the dark ones speak. I retorted, How can I trust you? You work for yourself, not for me. What good are you if you can't even protect me from the devil's confusion? Be quiet, she replied, or else you'll disturb the work. And as she spoke these words, Behold, Philemon came up to me, dressed in the white robe of a priest, and lay his hand on my shoulder. Then I said to the dark ones, Speak! So speak, you dead! And immediately they cried in many voices, We have come back from Jerusalem, where we did not find what we sought. 
We implore you to let us in. You have what we desire, not your blood, but your light. That is it. Then Philemon lifted his voice and taught them, saying, And this is the first sermon to the dead. I'm going to stop here and record an another video because what I really wanted to read to you is what comes next. And I want it to be at the very beginning of the video, not five minutes in. But that was a uh, an apocalyptic preamble. Yeah. All right. See you next time.